Design Tech High School is located in Redwood City, California, located on Oracle's corporate campus. Learning how to adapt and learn a new digital tool is more important than what tool it is. You can't get locked into sort of one piece of digital tools because the next week it's going to be a different digital tool. Can your skills transfer? Can you adapt to the new tool that's out there? In my engineering class, uh, students are tasked with proposing their own final engineering project for the semester. They create a proposal, they scope the proposal, they estimate a budget, they plan the project, and essentially run the project throughout the semester. So my group came together with the idea of a resin table, and I thought that was super cool. And the project kind of evolved into wanting to personalize it, so we uh, brought in the aspects of the peninsula and design techs previous um, locations. We drew out our entire table in advance just and just to visualize like where each piece would go and how big and using the size dimensions that we got from the drawing we were able to calculate everything so how much wood to use, how much uh, resin to buy and which uh, 3D printed pieces we should use. They build a Gantt chart which like plans out what they're going to work on each week of the project and then they try to stick to that and then they try to make adjustments along the way when they find out, oh, some materials may not get here in time so we're going to have to do this or oops, that material is a little bit too toxic or dangerous for a school environment. So there's all those problem solving steps along the way. One of the things about um, engineering is it's a process. There's no way I can teach them every little engineering skill that they would need to become an engineer but I can give them a taste of the process. For example, like how to plan and scope a project. Can you generate a mathematical model? Can you problem solve can, using tools? For this resin project, it's really hard to like estimate and calculate how much, you know, how much resin do I need to order? We did run into a few problems. Like our initial size was gonna be, I think six by three feet. But then we realized it was way too big and it had way too much resin and, and it cost way too much. So we shrunk it down to like three by two feet instead. Without that calculating it mathematically, what it's going to be, we would have never known. They scaled down their project to a more reasonable size and cost. In the beginning, we all worked together to like put the design together, the diagrams, and then after that, we kind of like took on separate roles. For this project, we used the 3D printer, so we had to use CAD software and the 3D printing. It opens kids up to a lot more possibilities, and hopefully when they walk out of high school, they can see the breadth of possibility and be able to take advantage of that right away. I think that idea of pushing myself out of my comfort zone and learning that these tools are actually really cool and useful has sort of instilled in me like whatever I do, wherever I go, um, I should be willing to try new things because you never know what you might find interesting that you didn't think you would before. 